All right, everybody, welcome back. We are on level 10 of lesson six. And as you can see, it is purple, which means that this is an assessment level. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I will read the directions, maybe give you a tip or two, and then I will go through the rubric, and then I'm going to let you try and figure this out. Because, you know, it's an assessment level, and what good would an assessment be if uh, I give you the answers? So actually, I'm going to turn this off because we don't need it. All right. So positivity app. Hawa is making a positivity app where people can track good deeds or positive statements they make throughout the day by pressing a button on the circuit playground. Each time they press a button, the heart grows a little bit in size. When the heart fills the box, the circuit playground should buzz. Hawa has already started the app but needs help adding the variables and if statements to her code. Do this. Add a variable called size as the first line of your code and set it to 20. All right, so when you click on the show me where, it'll show you where to go. Uh, add code inside your event that increases the size variable by 20 each time a button is pressed. Add an if statement that checks when the heart has reached a size of at least 300 pixels. Inside the if statement, have the buzzer make a noise to let the user know they've reached their goal. All right, so the show me where will show you exactly where you need to look. Um, don't forget that we have two triangles right here. So that means that something's going on that you need to address. Um, and then let's go look at the rubric. So the rubric, we're going to start with the no evidence. So the code has not changed. If I don't see anything's changed, you're not going to get any points. All right. So we're going to close that one because obviously you're going to try and do better than that. So let's go to the ones that you are going to get points for. Limited evidence. Variables are used for the size, but they do not increase when the button is pressed. All right, so that's a limited evidence. Let's go look at convincing evidence. Variables are used to keep track of the size of the element, but the buzzer does not sound once it reaches the correct size. All right, we can do better than that. Let's keep going. So extensive evidence. This is what gets you the A, the 100, the, you know, awesome job. Uh, the program works as described using variables to keep track of the size and an if statement to play the buzzer at the correct time. So if you get all of that, then you've got your A+. All right. So with that, I'm going to let you work. Um, good luck. I know you can do this. And I will see you on the next level.